Hey, welcome to the show, folks. This is uh, Chips and Salsa, and I'm Jerry. I'm Krobe. Hey, Jerry. Hey, what? Hey, Jerry. Do you, you know what time it is? Uh, yeah. It's Patch Tuesday! Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, Krobe. Um, we have a short show today covering the two security advisories we released addressing two CVEs both with uh, CVSS scores of 4.7, which is medium. Now, these issues were reported by academic researchers from ETH Zurich, who released a paper titled Retbleed, Arbitrary Speculative Code Execution with Return Instructions. Yeah, and, you know, Retbleed is a play on Retpoline, which is a commonly used mitigation against Spectre branch target injection attacks. Uh, as the researchers have found a way to potentially bypass these mitigations. And Intel worked with our industry mitigation partners, hypervisor vendors, and the Linux community to provide mitigations for these issues. Windows systems are not affected as they already use these mitigations by default. And Intel is not the only silicon vendor affected by Red Bleed. Yep. And only some Intel processes are affected. Uh, not affected are Intel processors with enhanced indirect branch restricted speculation or Ooh. EIBRS, as well as systems incorporating the regular version of IBRS, uh, which is the case with Windows systems. And IBRS is the mitigation now being made available on most Linux systems. And for detailed information, we recommend that customers review the technical paper we released today which you can find at the link below. The tech paper summarizes an update to Intel's guidance for both these potential attacks. Uh, more details and updated guidance can be found in Retpoline, a branch target injection mitigation. Uh, managed runtime developers should continue to follow the previous guidance in managed runtime speculative execution side channel mitigations. Yeah, and interestingly, uh, we called this out as a possible risk in our Retpoline paper that you just mentioned. So this is a known issue already addressed by the, the mitigations, uh, you know, IBRS and enhanced IBRS. Yeah, and I, I think that's it for July uh, 2022 Patch Tuesday. We'll wrap this episode of Chips and Salsa. We want to thank the researchers at ETH Zurich for coordinating today's disclosure and with, you know, thank our industry partners as always. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you.